Shooting it raw? Yes. Shooting it raw. Okay, so your name is Asher Chen. Mm-hmm. It's very, it's confusing for me because my Asher to me mm-hmm. is like I have a cousin Asher. Mm-hmm. Are they male? Well, yeah, no, no. So, so what is the etymology? Like why, 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 you have more than one name? Like what's, or is this a, uh, okay. Some people just pick a name. Well, my, my mother um, grew up um, all over the place. She grew up in Africa and she lived in Iran for a while. <clears throat> so I think um, she, she kind of um, picked a name that was a little bit more unusual. Um, it was either Asher or Soroya, I believe. Oh. And I, I feel like I definitely, my personality would definitely not suit Soroya. It's that's a crazy really? name. So um, I, I used to really, really dislike my name as a child. Oh, it's bitching I, good. I love I, it, I love it I love now, it. Yeah, for yeah. sure. When I was a kid, I was just desperate for a normal name. Sure. Quote, it's a normal name. Um, Jennifer. Yeah, Sophie was my, my oh. dream name, just because okay. I had like three Sophies in my class and I just wanted to blend in. But now, yeah, I've really embraced it now. And now really People like who it. listen to the podcast a little bit, um, there are a lot of different themes. One of them is making the most out of every second of your life. Mm-hmm. You know, one of them is interpreting the world aesthetically. Mm-hmm. One of them, unfortunately, seems to be Jennifer. Like every once in a while, that's just like my go-to name. <laughs> you know, so I'm a bit of an idiot that way. Uh, Asher, thank you. Okay, I have to describe. Okay, so the room we're in your living room in your apartment mm-hmm. uh like a lunatic you you, you let me you, you invited me into your house you, very trusting person yeah obviously a little bit a little uh we'll, we'll get to that later so the the we're in hong kong uh the view that i see is you're there and behind you is framed like this bay window with the sort of the big estates that go super high the 50th floor um thank you so much i stumbled onto your photographs and there's a kind of um like a sweetness i guess Mm -hmm. you know like in terms of people's aesthetic Mm -hmm. there's definitely you know it's just look at me maybe one now that we get to know you're actually a (laughs) full-on like insane psychopath (laughs) who invites strangers into their house and then kills them Accept their invitation. <laughs> I didn't invite you. <laughs> oh, okay. No, are you right? I invited myself. You invited yourself. <laughs> yeah, <see what>. <laughs> <laughs> Typical serial killer move. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I have this podcast, you see? 46 episodes. <laughs> oh, haha. Ha. Um, let's just go into the first <laughs> okay, <laughs> picture. Sure. Uh, let me let me describe it. I I, I in love love enjoying uh, love describing these images because people on a podcast cannot mm-hmm. see it. It's it's entitled "Laughing Baby," and it's like the perfect, sweetest <laughs> Buddha face. Okay, so first of all, uh, the background of the image is the sort of the bright, full on. It could be Chinese. It could be yeah. It's a, a temple. It could be in Taiwan. Probably not, but. But so you see like a, a golden lion on the outside of the entranceway. You've got the red and the gold with some blue and dragons and all this stuff. Very nice. And the, the half of the image, it's like you cannot... Babies are cute. <laughs> Babies are cute, right? Uh, it's, it's a cliche. And it's about, but here is this baby who... The biggest cheeks... The, 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 the sweetest, warmest, cutest eyes, bald, bald is bald, <laughs> full on bald. Like this is a, this is a little baby Buddha, um, wearing this cute little, like, uh, is she, is, how old is she? In this picture? Yeah. Uh, three, well, like, three months old. How many? Three months. Three months old. So listen, baby young baby, so sweet, so cute. <laughs> um, as a photograph, it's like, hold on a second. The baby isn't in focus. Uh, you know, all that garbage, but you know, if you're feeling down, check out the photograph. It's so sweet. Okay. So what's the story? Why? Why? (laughs) I, I just love this picture because it just every single time, like no matter how many times I look at it, it makes me smile. Um, it's just such an authentic, um, kind of, she was just laughing so much. Um, this is my middle girl, Erin. And this was taken pretty much when we just moved to Hong Kong. Um, we moved here when she was three months. I think she was about three or four months in this picture. And yeah, it's just, she was just always laughing. Like she just had that personality where just everything was, was fun and light for her. It's so, yeah, she, it's so, 
if only people could could express that kind of purity sure. you know like yeah it's sure. so sweet but also this picture was taken close to where we live um, in Sha Tin at the 10,000 Buddhas monastery got it and yeah I kind of like the the fact that she does look very Buddha in the picture as well and um, so it kind of suits the background and also I we we used to go to this place an awful lot it, it's just such a special place really calming it's up in the mountains there's lots of nature around you often see monkeys there, which mm-hmm. the children used to love uh, before they started to get a little bit too close and mm-hmm. they kind of stole our food sometimes. Sure. And, but yeah, just a really special place. And also, I went there on the, the last day of my pregnancy with my youngest okay. to try and kind of kickstart everything. Oh, wow. So I walked up there as this this giant pregnant blob, red faced, really like I thought I might die. I had two fans pointed at me. Oh, wow. And everyone was like sort of looking on very worried, like, what are you doing? When's you... her birthday? Uh, so her birthday is April the 4th. April. So yeah, so it would have been the 3rd. So very hot as well. But when is this photo taken? What month? I guess December, January. Yeah, okay. Because she, so, oh, okay, she's wearing a sweater. Yeah. September. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's just a very special place mm-hmm, to, to the mm-hmm, whole family. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's why I like like this image. Was this uh, kind of a snap shot from your phone, or did you have your camera? Or? Just just my phone. This one okay, was. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just just a, a nice. Just trying to capture her. The joyous mood that she was often in. As I think it says a lot also about who you are as a person. Okay, so okay, so the environment we're in right now, we're in your house. There, you clearly have young children. You've got children. So there's like there's a like a synthesizer on the left. There's art, children's art all over the the walls. There's you know toys everywhere. It's like it's kind of that buoyant sort of. The happiness, like through a little, little quasi uh, uh, hallway, I can see a door, and on it there's a bunch of art artwork with the, the you know flying witches, and, and and then I ask you, okay, well, you know, I'm doing this thing about photography and its role and how people interpret the world and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Send me three photographs, and it's so telling that the first one you send me is of this heartwarming, beautiful, you know. So you're a dark person. Oh, you, you are so dark. <laughs> I mean, like, holy <laughs> that, that is the last place I expected I think... that sentence to end. <laughs> you are not dark at all. Oh my goodness, uh, dude. Yeah, so, it, it just—it's such a loud signal of of what you're like, you know. And it's mm-hmm. it's really great. Do you want to say anything else about this image? No. It's on. so yeah. It's so. If you want to, if you're feeling sad and you want to be picked up, check out the photo. It'll warm your heart. You. Dark, cruel person. Do you want to start with this one or this one first? Uh, the ice cream. The ice cream. <laughs> so, is life really a gift? Really? Can you make every second count? That's the whole point of the podcast. So, if you like what you've seen and you're inspired, because that really is my mission, then please give it a like, subscribe and share. Shooting it raw? Yes. Shooting it raw.